All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a shed Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I want to go in on this topic of pretty much learn how to deal with things face to face rather than over the phone, over video, or over text, okay? Now, dealing with things over uh, text, you know, having phone conversations over uh, text, that's, that's what women do, man, you know? And um, a lot of these women do not know how to deal with things face-to-face, -face, man, you know? Or... or you know, uh, know how to handle stuff, man. Handle shit, man. You know? A lot of these guys out here don't know how to do things either. You know, face to face. Now, um, you have uh, guys who uh, are scoffers and stuff like that. And, um, you know, they like to hide behind computer screens. But when it comes down to coming out on the um, highway and hedges or, um, you know, uh, putting their self out there. You know, to, to, to be um, on the forefront, you know, of a video or something like that, they don't do that, you know, because they're scared of people knowing who they are, you know, changing your voice and all type of things, you know, like that. Um, it just shows what type of person you are, you know. Um, dealing with things face to face is authentic, man, you know, that's the that's the real deal. You know, you got to look like how was things done before we came over here to this place, you know, because we living in this technology, techni techni it's a lot of technological things out here, you know, that are, that people are, um, you know, using, you know, like you go out on a date, you can pretty much tell that, you know, if the woman or the, or the, the you know, if you're a woman and you're going on a date with a man, you know, that, you know, if they're on their phone the whole whole entire date, that person really ain't into you. They're more to in, to their, into their phone than anything, you know? But when you go out, you know, you could you could tell whether a person is really into you by the, the way that their facial uh, 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 features are. So, let me get this scripture to start it off. Ecclesiasticus 37 and 17. The countenance which your countenance is your face, okay, let me get that through the blue letter, okay, your countenance is your face, okay, it says the countenance is a sign of the changing of the heart, which your heart in the Hebrew, heart in the Hebrew is la'ab, la'ab, which is uh, your mind, okay, so the changing of the face or the face is a sign of the changing of the mind, okay? So, when you go into the word countenance, okay? Once again, like I said, countenance is a face, okay? Um, it's pa, pa na yum, pa na yum, okay? And that means face, faces, presence, person, face, face, surface, Okay, uh, and that's pretty much, you know, the point, you know, um, so, um, the, the, the face, okay, is a sign of the changing of the heart, so when you're dealing with things face to face, you can tell whether somebody is really into you, okay, or if they're not into you, okay, that's why learning how to do with, deal with things face to face it's extremely, extremely important in his faith. I mean, this faith, okay? So, with that said, I'm going to get this scripture. Um, this is, uh, let me get this scripture. Um, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 13, verse 25. The heart or the mind of a man changes his face. Whether it be for good or evil, okay. So when you when you're out 
you know, in a boat, and whether it's, you know, you out in a boat at camp or, you know, wherever the, the, the case may be, you know, looking at a person's face, you can tell whether, whether it, you know, whether they have a, they mean well or whether they, 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 you know, are emotional by their face, you know, um, whether they're trying to hide something or whatever the case may be. And then you got to also listen to what a person has to say also, you know, it says, and the merry heart makes a cheerful countenance, you know, so if somebody is happy, you, they'll, you'll be able to see that through their face. Okay, so it says whether it be for good or evil. Okay, you should know a person by their face. Okay, um, it says uh, Ecclesiasticus nineteen and twenty seven. There is a wicked man that hangs down his head sadly, but inwardly he is full of deceit, casting down. His countenance, okay, because you got people out here that, you know, like to, to make it seem as though that they're, you know, sad and everything like that. But in, in, on the inside, they're full of deceit, right? It says, and making as if he heard not, where he is not known, he will do you a mischief before you be aware. So you have to be aware of what people do from their facial uh, features, man. You know, you don't just trust somebody just because they look sad, you know. Or even because they look happy. You know, people have demons on them. Um, let me jump down to the 29th verse. A man may be known by his look. And one that has understanding by his countenance. When thou meetest him. Okay? So you'll understand if a person has understanding by their, you know, their face. A man's attire and excessive laughter and gait. So what he is. You know, you see... Uh, with the word the word gate, okay, and we get that in the uh, Miriam uh, Webster, okay. The word gate is a walk, a manner of walking, or of mo or moving on foot, okay. A sequence of foot movement such as a walk, trot, pace, or canter, by which a horse or a dog moves. A manner or rate of prog movement or progress. And you can kind of tell, you know, um, like for example, uh, if, a, if a, a, a man is switching, you know, that ain't, and ain't something right, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't uh, there's something wrong with that person, you know. Uh, if, if you see a man switching, walking like a female, you know, that shows what, what type of man he is, you know. He's, he's more than likely a homosexual, okay? Or he, he's been tampered with, <laughs> you know? But you if you see somebody moving moving fast, you know? I mean, in, in New York, you know, they move they, they move fast up there, you know? But down here in Baltimore, if somebody moves fast, you know, you, they, more, more than likely that person is a hustler, you know? <laughs> that's that's uh, how, how fast these hustlers move, you know? Or they're trying to get up out of there, on, on, you know, and they're quick on their feet, you know. So you don't, you don't, you learn, you know, those type of people, you know, they, 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 they know how to get in and get out, you know, get in and get out of a, 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 a quick jam, you know. Um, so you gotta watch those type of people also. Now, um, I'm gonna get into this scripture, okay, um. This is uh, Ecclesiasticus 12 and 18. Never trust thine enemy, for like iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust has not been altogether wiped away. Set him... Not by you, lest when he have overthrown you, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him stand, sit at your right hand, lest he seek to take thy, let, yeah, lest he seek to take thy seat, and thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a, a serpent? Right. 
And the, the, this, this scripture is important because when you look at a serpent or a snake, you can pretty much tell, you know, what, what they're going to do. You look at, you look at the snake, you know, and you can tell that the snake is, you know, they, they probably prompt, prompt the bite, you know, it says, or any such as come now, uh, wild beast, you know. And you can pretty much tell when a when a when a wild beast or an animal wants to to to, to mess with you, you know, just from that look in that their eyes, you know. Um, it says so one that goes to a sinner and is defiled with him and his sins, who will pity, you know. And and a lot of people don't understand that, you know, they're pretty much making friends with the so-called white man or friends with, you know, people that are demons, you know. That you know, if they would have known uh, what we know through the spirit ahead of time, then they would have they would they would they would um, they would, um save them a bunch of time, man, by by getting rid of the fake people that are around them. You know, it says um, for a while he will abide with you, but if thou begin to fall, he will not tarry. An enemy speaks sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagines. How to throw you into a pit okay and what what how do you know in a heart okay how do we imagine to, to, to take you into a pit why because we just read the countenance of the countenance is a sign of the changing of of the heart okay it says he will weep with his eyes but if he find opportunity he will not be satisfied with blood okay i'm gonna jump down it's oh I'm, yeah it's, if adversity come upon you Thou shalt find him there first, and though he pretend to help you, yet shall he undermine you. You know, you got a lot of these people, you know, that like to go over overseas, these Edomites like to go overseas and, you know, go to so-called Africa and, and act like they trying to help them, them children out there, man. But those people really are devils, man. You know, got a secret agenda. It says he will shake his head and clap his hands and whisper much and change his countenance, you know. So at the end of the day, when you when you dealing with things that you know face to face rather than through uh, through the phone, because you can't always tell with somebody um, how they how they look when they saying things, man. You know, over the phone, you know, you might you might hear um, over the phone some somebody might be might be uh, yelling at you, you know. But but face to face they wouldn't say say half the stuff that they that they uh that they say in front of your face, you know. Cause cause a lot of people like to 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 be tough behind text or behind the phone, you know. Nowadays you got people that want to just FaceTime all the goddamn time, you know. And it's like yo, dealing with things authentic is is the best thing, you know. Rather than you know trying to be on the phone and holding. Holding the camera, you know, all the goddamn time, you know, that's 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 what these women like doing, man, you know, uh, send a send a breakup, you know, uh, <laughs> text to you, you know, or, or or try to break up with you over um over the phone, you know, rather than dealing with shit face to face, you know, like I said, a lot of things get misconstrued through. Uh, the the um the the phone through uh video and through texting okay it it also get mis misconstrued when you also tell somebody and that person go tell some some you know tell the next person okay then by the time that you it get back to you it's a whole total different story okay so um let me get this scripture okay it's Job twenty one and thirty one who so declare his way to his face Okay, and this is talking about the so-called white man. Okay, um, because the so-called white man are known as the wicked, according to the Bible. And you got a lot of people, you know, who like to sit up there and make it seem like they really down with this truth. But when it comes down to going out there on the highway and hedges, you know, they they scared. You know, they'll they'll throw up videos all the all the time. You know, but when it comes down to going out there to do the work, they scared. You know. They can't deal with it face to face, you know. 
and you got you got these the so-called KKK and these hate hate groups and stuff like that. You know, see what separates us. You know, the the Israelites from from them is they'll put on they'll come on a video and talk talk shit behind the camera. You know, um, probably probably masked up. You know, for us we out there. You know, we on the highway and had just anything can happen to us. You know. Because it's more, it's authentic, okay? We deal with stuff like men and it's truth, you know? It says, and who shall repay him what he has done? Yet, he shall be brought to the grave and shall remain in the tomb. And that's talking about the so-called white man, okay? We're supposed to be, as men, okay? Men of the Lord, go out and declare his way unto his face, okay? And not be scared, okay? The scriptures, um... In Ezekiel 35 and 1, moreover, the Lord, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against, against Mount Seir. Which Mount Seir is, you know, so-called Edom. Okay? And prophesy against it. And say unto it, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against you, and I will stretch out my hand against you, and I will make you most desolate. You know? So when these so-called white people walk by, you know, and they, 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 you know, look at us like we're some type of joke. But on, on, the, on the outside, they, they see that we're, you know, serious about this. That's us setting our face against them. You know, we might laugh because, you know, the joke's going to be on them at the end of the day. You know, it says, I will lay thy city's waste and thou shalt be desolate. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord, because thou hast had a perpetual hate, hatred, and hast set shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity and the time that their iniquity had an end. Okay, and the so-called white man is ashamed of what they do, you know, what they did. They can't, they can't man up and say, yeah, we put you niggas into slavery, but you got some of them that do, you know. But then these devils want to make it seem like, you know. Like, like it never happened, you know, and that we don't have a reason for being uh, mad. And that spirit that, you know, the ways that the so-called white man, uh, how he does with things when it comes down to slavery is the same way how, you know, the, the these these guys out here, our people don't like to deal with things like men. The same way how these women out here don't like don't like to deal with things like how they supposed to, you know, whereas though it's, it's, it's our job to to. Um, put forth, you know, that, that, that manliness, you know, of how things are supposed to be, you know, as far as, you know, um, going out there and speaking, okay, um, this is Ezekiel 3 and 8, okay, behold, I have made your face strong against theirs, you know, I, and, and your forehead strong against their forehead, so when you're going to it, right, you know, our face, you know, we, we more than likely, a man of the Lord is going to have a beard. You know, you're supposed to have a beard. That that goes into the to the to the setting your face against, you know, Mount Seir, man. Because Mount Seir don't want want um the the men of the Lord to have beards. You know, they don't want people to have beards. They want you to to um what's the word uh save off your beard so that you can look more kind, more presentable. You know, but at the end of the day, you're just looking like a fucking coon. You know, it says. As an adamant, harder than flint, have I made thy forehead. You know, because we know this truth. Okay? Fear them not, neither be dismayed at their looks. Because you got a lot of people that look at you in different ways. Especially among the, the house of Israel. Okay? Because that's what this is talking about. It says, though they be a re rebellious house. Okay? So, dealing with things man to man is just how, you know, uh, uh, this truth goes okay you gotta you gotta learn okay you're gonna feel the the, the vibe okay because everything is spiritual you're gonna feel the vibe that that people give off you know but then at the end of the day you're supposed to be looking you know to check and see you know through that face if that person is sincere what they you know what they what they uh might be thinking you know and that takes time yeah you know the, the, that's one of the things we pray for knowledge okay wisdom 
you know, applying this this knowledge and understanding. Okay, understanding why these people were bugged out. You know, and it shows who's who's bugged out through their face. Okay, and you'll just know how to apply it when you get that wisdom. Okay, so with that, you know, um, I, I'm gonna just uh end it right there. Okay, um. I'm going to say uh, shalom till next time.